hello everyone hi i'm here i'm alive still just about i've been trying to start this video or just to start any video for the last couple of days and i've been really struggling so i thought i would just pick up a camera and chat for a little bit wait let me just get comfortable because i'm not going to do this standing up my bed is so squeaky i'm actually getting a new bed soon which i'm excited about it's been i think it's been about two weeks maybe three weeks depending on when I upload this since I've actually put a video on YouTube and I'm so sorry for just abandoning everything. It's been, it's been a weird year, it's been a weird couple of years um, in my personal life and I, I touched on this a little bit in my kind of year roundup at the end of the year 2016 but yeah it's not the sort of thing that I really want to chat about too much on here. I just had my birthday, July was going to be great um, and then things just kind of fell apart a little bit. The first week I didn't upload I was actually on holiday, you might have seen a few snaps and things but that was kind of just like a really chill family holiday so I didn't want to vlog or bring the camera and then everything just began piling on piling on top of each other and um, I don't want to turn this video into something really negative but at the same time, oh the sun's going in, at the same time I like to share my life with you guys and I think it's important not to just share a sugar-coated version of that because it's not real so yeah a lot of things have happened a lot of things that i probably could have coped with had they all come individually but piled on all together at the same time no nope. it's not been good and i just i feel so lucky and so thankful actually that i do have a job where i can just take the time out and take a break when i need to i'm a big advocate in taking breaks not necessarily when everything goes to crap and you have to but just taking breaks in general to kind of, you know, keep things chill and remind yourself why you're doing the thing you're doing in the first place. So yeah, I do feel incredibly lucky that I have a job that allows me to just step back for a little bit. And that is all thanks to you guys. So um, I also want to say as well, thank you for your messages. I've had so many messages saying, where are you? Where are your videos? We miss you. Come back. Which I really wasn't expecting. Um, but it was really nice to read though, so thank you for everyone that has been thinking about me and uh, kind of noticed that I just disappeared off the grid for a while. I'm not going to promise anything, I'm going to try and upload every week and um, things should be a little bit easier now to do that for a while. I'm not sure, but just bear with me guys, bear with me. I'm here, I've really missed making videos. It feels really strange when I don't do this every week, so this is nice. So this little one is one of the reasons that I haven't been around much because as you can see we've got a little cone head here she's had an operation she actually got spayed um, because she's just over a year now so this has been my life for the last week looking after this little thing going to vet's appointments um, it was the hardest thing dropping her off when I knew I wasn't gonna see her for a whole day but she's fine everything's gone well and um, yeah we just have a little cone head in the family now she has to keep this on for another four days and she absolutely hates it. She's just hating cone life. She's absolutely hating it. Um, but yeah, I've been taking care of her. So I've literally been just in this house for the last seven days and I'm kind of going a little bit mad. Oh, God, you're such a lump. Should we go downstairs? I literally have to carry her everywhere because she can't walk up and down stairs and things like that. Such a sad little face. Poor thing, baby. Okay, you go down there. So I've had a delivery, I got it this morning, and I thought I would save it to open up. It's been sitting on my coffee table for the last three hours, and I haven't actually touched it or opened it yet, and I can't hold out any longer, um, so I'm going to open it now. When life gets you down and things aren't good, I mean, a little bit of retail therapy goes a long way. So this package is from Netta Porter, and um, this is actually something that I've been thinking about getting for a while. So. These are a pair of shoes, as you can tell, by the size of this box, probably, from Gucci. Because, you know, Gucci is so hot right now. Let's try and get this lid off first, that would help. This is going to be the worst unboxing ever, guys. So don't mind me. Okay, right. I love the sound of tissue paper opening for the first time. And here they are. Okay, so these are, I'm not sure if they have a name, I'm just going to say they're the Gucci trainers. Um, they're the really basic versions, so they don't have the colour on the back, I wanted them quite plain. They do have a version like this as well with some kind of like green and red bits on the heel. They have the green, um, the green and red stripe and then this little embroidered gold bee, which I think is super, super cute. I think these are actually the style that fold down at the back, so you can fold them and kind of wear them like a slider or like a mule. I don't think I'll be doing that. 
Um, but yeah, I think these are so pretty. I feel like my style has evolved so much over the last year and I just wanna be, just wanna be casual and comfortable at all times now. I have no time for kind of dressing up on an everyday basis. So I think these are gonna be perfect for that. Look at you there napping, oh my god. Okay, I hope these actually fit, let's see. So, these are what they look like on. They actually fit really nicely. They feel kind of a little bit roomy, but if I was wearing maybe thicker socks, then that would be fine. But they feel comfortable. They're quite light too, they really don't feel like anything. They're not heavy trainers. Um, I'm gonna go and see what they look like on in the mirror, but I kind of love them so far. Hi really like the way they look they're not as kind of bulky as i thought they would be considering they're just like all white trainers they're just really light and really nice and i feel like i'm gonna wear these a lot i maybe could have gone one size down in these as i was running up the stairs i kind of felt them slipping off just a little bit at the back so i maybe could have sized down half a size but then i think once i'm wearing socks and everything that should be fine unless they stretch out hmm i'm not sure maybe i should get a slightly smaller pair. I want to just try them on as well with the backs down just to see what that looks like. You know what? I don't actually hate it like this, but I do not think I'll be wearing them like that. I feel like it will kind of ruin the backs a bit if I do, um, so I think I'll just stick to wearing them normally. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday now. Um, oh, it's so early and the moon won't stop working and... Oh. So I'm actually going to get my hair done today um, because I haven't had it cut for a while and it's grown really long. She just won't stop barking. What's wrong with that dog? I'm really struggling to decide what to wear because it's it's still like morning grey. You know, it's grey in the morning. You don't know what the weather's going to be like. So I don't know if I should wear a jacket, but basically I'm wearing this shirt. This is from M&S of all places. It's like a really nice slouchy oversized linen shirt. And I, I put this on my Instagram stories the other day, actually yesterday. And um, just to let you guys know, this shirt is a size 20. That's how much you need to size up. I'm usually a 12, maybe 14 at best, so definitely size up. Um, and then I have my jeans on, these Urban Outfitters jeans, which I've been living in. Like, they don't come off, they are just my favourite. And then I have these little sliders from Forever 21. I've just chucked on this pink uh, Zara coat, which I haven't actually worn yet, I don't think. I thought I would wear this loads in summer, but this is going to be the first time, apparently. Um, and then I have my Chloe bag as well. Moon is still barking. I'm, I'm going to leave now. So we're trying to pick a colour for my hair. And this is what I love, like everything cool toned, nothing warm. And then Josh is thinking, <laughs> that's brown, that is more brown. <laughs> Not sure guys. I like this one, it's got pink in it. Let's see. So this is the before. Not really sure what's about to happen, but I don't think I'm gonna look like this at the end of it kind of a little bit terrified because I've been blonde for so long. It'll probably be exactly the same when we're finished, but it would just feel so different to me. But we'll see, I trust Josh. So there we go. No going back now. Mummy you could but you'd look weird. <laughs> down in a basin is not a flattering angle whatsoever. It's no one's angle. <laughs> Step one. Okay, so say hello to 2015. No, like in 2015, 2013 maybe? This is so strange, I feel like my mum right now. I actually kind of love this colour on its own, but we're gonna do um, a balayage and an ombre, I'm trying to think of all the technical words, but I'm really struggling. Um, a balayage over the top of this, so obviously I want a little bit of blonde back in, a little bit of like extra tone, so yeah, my, my base colour, my root colour is gonna be quite dark. And then, yeah, we're gonna do blonde back over the top, so. I'm excited. I'm done! Finally, we've just worked out that we've been here for... Six and a half hours. Six and a half hours with this, this one. 
Thanks for standing up for that long. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've gone so darker on the route. At one point I was completely brown. Um, and then we kind of like did the balayage. I'm trying to remember all the words. And yeah, it's really short. This is definitely the shortest I've ever had my hair. What do you think, guys? I like it. Thumbs up. Okay. Two new things that I've been using on my face. One of them I like, one of them I really, really don't like. So this is the Sunday Rally CEO cleanser. This is from the CEO range, believe it or not, which is all vitamin C based. As a makeup remover and as a cleansing oil, this is pretty good, but oh my God, the first time I used this, I thought I was going to go blind. It stings so badly. And I tried it again a few days later, but honestly, I couldn't see for about 10 minutes afterwards, so. I cannot use this on my face again. I mean, what's the point of a cleansing oil that is just gonna sting? This one though, this is the Uma, UMA, Ultimate Brightening Facial Oil. It's so good, it smells incredible. It smells super kind of herbal and just oily and great. Um, and it's one of the only face oils that I've used that doesn't dry my skin out. That sounds really strange because oil obviously is the opposite of dry. Um, but sometimes they're just not hydrating enough for me. That's how dry my skin is. So this is seriously heavy duty. So I'm having a bit of a no makeup day today, as you can tell. I'm gonna make some, actually I'm gonna make a coffee first because it's, I don't really feel like having breakfast at the moment. Although I do have a little, little fruit pot here, which I think I'll eat now. Um, I have been drinking this. Um, what is this? It's like a chai latte with espresso and it's concentrated, so you just put a little bit of this in a cup and some milk, and it's so good. So I'm gonna put some ice in here, and then pour in a little bit of this. I'm still not sure exactly how much to put in. I usually do like a little bit less than half, because it is concentrated, so it's pretty strong. I'm not sure how many shots of caffeine this is technically, but it's enough. And then I got my favorite almond milk, which is this Rude Health one. Um, I just pour it in to top it up. Uh, I don't put any sweeteners or anything with this because I think it already has them in it. Uh, it's probably full of sugar. But there we go, that's my morning coffee. Right, I'm ready to go out in a pretty standard, I can't be bothered today outfit. I have my Whistles t-shirt on, um, my Urban Outfitters jeans, which I promise I do wash, I just literally have like four pairs of them. I've got some trainers on, these are, I think these are Adidas Gazelle, is that right? Uh, the pink ones. Oh, and these are the most essential thing for a no makeup day when you just can't be bothered because nobody can see your face, it's great. So I'm off, I think we're gonna go get some Italian food, which I'm really, really ready for. Pasta, pizza, carbs, oh, just all my favorite things. Conehead is still depressed and still napping over here. One more day until the cone is off and she can be free again. Look at that face, you made me feel so sad. It's okay, one more day, one more day and we can take it off. I have bruschetta and then this thing which is literally the size of my head. It was my hand for comparison. It's basically garlic pizza rather than garlic bread. <laughs> um, but yeah, looking forward to eating this. So I've um, just edited the vlog that you're watching now. And I can honestly say this may win the award or at least get shortlisted for most disinteresting and all over the place vlog ever. I don't really, I think I've forgotten how to do this whole thing. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to live with that. <laughs> I had a nice lunch today, um, spent some time with my family and then I've just come home and I'm watching Sex and the City, which is great. And editing this vlog at the same time. Multitasking, that's how it's done. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna leave you guys here. Um, I should have some more videos up next week, which hopefully will be more, more of a video than this one was. <laughs> I'll just say that. I won't make any promises, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That is it for me today, and I will see you all soon. Bye.